How you doing guys? It's been a while since I bring another video in this video I'm gonna be showing you as you can see a knife from the company Boker Plus and this knife is the Boker Mini Tracker this tracker is based in the Dave Wenger Tracker Junior if you don't know who Dave Wenger is you should find about he made real nice piece of, of knife matter of fact I have Currently three of him. I'm waiting for one in the mail. I got two knife and one tomahawk. All of them top notch. This one is a, a copy of the Tracker Union made by Boker, but it's being authorized for Dave, so it's not a ripoff. It's it's more accessible knife because the price point of this one compared to one of the Dave is big different. This is around $66 is what I pay probably in a couple of months it's gonna be cheaper than that because I ordered from Europe and uh, it's, uh, it's relatively new in the market so you can get it cheaper probably in a couple of months uh, you can see this one got 1095 carbon steel it got a black powder, powder coating and it got a green handles it got a serial number right there 361 uh, so you you're gonna find a lot of them. Got a nice brass lanyard hole, a little day winger style. I can see some maybe stainless or aluminum pins. He kind of this real nice box. Got a bed clip, Boker Plus bed clips, the same that I got in the Boker Cormoran. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it do its job. Got a little material to read. I got a pretty decent kaida chip. It's it's a thin kaida chip but it does it does it's been done real well. You see? There's no rattling or anything. The knife it, it's very well secure right there. So let's go let's do a little little specs of the knife. Just for reference. This is the Tom Brown tracker made by made by Tops. This is the tracker tree. So it's five inch blade. It's very similar. You can see right there. The hook is one of the more awesome feature of the tracker. Um, I see that Dave Wenger he get it right on it. It's lacking on the spine, but you're the one from Dave. He made it with the with the serration. I mean. He made it like that. The price is gonna be you can multiply the price probably for eight <laughs> what it this cost. It's kinda of expensive but pretty good pieces. This is from Brown Tracker by Tops. This was the twenty anniversary special edition. I don't they just made like five hundred I think. So most likely we you can find one of this now but for some reference Let's go a little spec, like I say. Got a low it all length of ten inches, almost nine inches and uh, five, uh, seven eight. You got a blade, you got a handle of four inches and a half, and you got a blade of five inches and a quarter almost so the thickness in this is gonna be I'll give it to you in inches let me see if I can it's gonna be almost 316 thick um, like I say you don't know who Dave Wenger is he's he made Wenger blade. Um, I think that you should, should check him out. He made some nice tomahawk. And matter of fact, I was hiking today. Uh, I think we made this. This is day Wenger pilot knife. I owe you the review. Maybe I'll do it today. You can see right there again. The track got a real nice line. Pretty sweet knife. Let's talk about the tracker. Tracker, the tracker design has been around for a while. If you haven't seen the movie The The Hunter, you show it got Tommy Lee Jones and Benicio del Toro. It's 
this knife is it's not a original one the one in the movie is one made for day back but this one is I think it got it right Wenger did a real nice job designing this this is the middle one he got three design uh, tracker is gonna be seven inches junior that is what this is made for and he got the micro tracker it's 3.5 inches let me let me do some tests and uh, I'll let you know what I think if it's worth it or not for the price I think it does if you don't like the tracking knife or you always feel curious about it and you want to try one without breaking the bank I think this is a very good option it's 1095 saying that you can find almost all the top tops trackers um, this one is pretty decent I think you feel really good in hand it's not super bulky it's not gonna be that that full size 7 inch tracker that you gonna depend on to survive in the wilderness but it's a really nice EDC camp uh, maybe a little too big for EDC but maybe camp knife day hike something like that you got the you like the tracker design give it a look around this one and give it a shot you might like it let's go to the test and let me stop <laughs> Alright guys, this is a pepper, the paper cut, famous paper cut to see how sharp it is. It's pretty sharp. That's not too bad. That's not too bad in my opinion. Let me try the tip of the knife first. It's a classic. see that's pretty fine but we're coating thin decently let's do some some batoning right here nothing, nothing too crazy about it this is a bushcraft knife I should baton decently bad see right there the power recording seems decent it doesn't, it's not losing too much and since this is a bushcraft um, this is one of the more feature more famous feature of this knife the hook to do some feather stick It does pretty good.
It doesn't have a spine to strike this. It does actually. I thought with the power recording I would I wouldn't be able to strike it, but Well, you can strike it with the edge, it didn't do much damage to the edge, seems pretty decent, it's not, not, not bad at all. Let me get a piece of copper on. We'll see how the 1095 hold. This is the same copper I tested the other day. It's a weak piece of wood. There we go. This decent result right there is the the coating was a little affected. I think it did pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think there is a great entry level to, to a dragon knife. Seem to be some fat wood right there. That's not bad. I get a piece of paper to see. I mean, it's 1095. Still can cut. It's now super cut. You still can cut it. I'm gonna try something that I, I don't usually do, but if you've seen the movie The Haunted, the Benicio del Toro does pretty good. So I'm gonna try it mine as well. I'm gonna throw it to see what I can do. It's, if it break, I ain't gonna be crying because it's a $60 knife, $65 knife, so it, it won't hurt me too much. Um, it can be good a good practice throwing knife if I get a day winger one day most likely I will do alright guys let me throw a little bit to see what I can do it is roughly like almost 10 feet from here over there <laughs> let's see what I can do there we go for be the first one that's a pretty good shot Ain't too good. Whoops. That sucks. Guess the first one was a ducket shot. Jesus Christ. I'm embarrassing myself in front of the camera. 
<laughs> there we go. Nice skeletonized handle. See that? Well, that changed a lot my opinion about this knife. It's decent, you don't throw it. But are you gonna throw the knife? That can happen. Oh well. Look. <laughs> Boom. Now I gotta fold the fold the tracker. <laughs> oh shit. I see you can get it though. Alright, that was a little disappointing. <laughs> Man, if I were to do that with five hundred dollar knife, I'd be crying right now. I'm gonna try to throw it, no, no flip like they do. <laughs> That's enough fun for today. Alright guys, you see what happened and this is my final opinion. Uh, don't be stupid like me and don't be throwing your knife if it's not a throwing knife. But, that's it. That's a no go to me. That's skeletonized handle, that's... That was hap that was what happened, yeah. Lose a piece right there, then it broke in the back. I wasn't expected to broke but it wasn't a use as it's supposed to. This is going into Oh well. If you ain't gonna throw it, I still can recommend this knife. Sorry Boker, I didn't try to throw shit on you. But you know, I thought it was a great idea, use it as a practice knife if I buy one of the Dave. Oh well, that's life. Look at that.
Yeah, I almost use a folder. <laughs> uh, this is the new Booker Mini Tracker. Don't throw it and you'll be alright. Throw it and you're gonna wait at me. Lose sixty dollar, eighty dollar because I had to pay for shipping. It was a big mistake, dude. This knife skeletonized. Because some stupid like me will throw in the. Try to throw it. And you will break. I see gonna pick one with the Dave, though. Dave Wenger, that's, that's definitely my list. Alright. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe. And trying to reach the 1000. 1,000 subscribers to start making million or dollar like everybody does. Nah, I'm just kidding, but subscribe and you will see more shit like this. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Well, whatever is left of the weekend. Take care, guys. <laughs>